So identifying behavioral targeting um, is annoying to find the correct information to put into the queries. So what I've done is I've written on a Hotkey script that will allow me to do this much faster. So let's say um, I want to find people who have, I don't know, targeted, uh, had visited something with uh, different sample fire, whatever that is. And here it'll pop up and here you can see there's 25 items um, that are listed. And this value right here, this INA117, this list of these, is what I would actually have to have in my query. But you, you can see there's no easy way to isolate that, and copying that is quite annoying and difficult. Um, but I have a hot key, and I can hit the button, and it actually goes through, rips that out, grabs all of them, um, dedupes it, uppercases it, and then um, comma delimits them, which is actually what I need for my query. So here in a second now I can grab this. Um, the cool thing is now I can say, you know what, actually, while you know I wanted this one, I only want customers who tried to the D's, and there's five things. And it, it now pops it in and puts that here. Puts it, and it's also it's on my clipboard, so now I can actually, like if I come up here and paste, you'll see that was in my clipboard. Right? Um, so that's the product one, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but the other one is often we'll use as behavioral, uh, I'm sorry, documentation. So I have a bookmark up here for software technical documentation. Let's say we're looking at microcontrollers. I have no idea what that is. Um, for data sheets. And we run this. It's going to pull up and we'll see. Hopefully it'll come up with some. Oh, so there was one. Um, let's change that then. Let's change this to something a little more popular. And we'll still do data sheets. You should come back with 50, so there's 15. Now this one, um, if you can see down below in the U, so down, if you look down in here in the status um, bar, uh, the after PDF it says SPMS079I. That uppercase is what I would need for my behavioral query. So I'd have to go through and try to grab again. That's not listed anywhere on this page. Um, or I can just hit a button, okay, and this actually grabbed all of those, comma delimited, same thing as the other one, um, and, and grabbed it all out and, and put them in a comma list, so I can actually just paste that. So it's very easy for people to come in here and go, oh, you know what, I want people who had looked at, um, let's say, let me see if I can get enough here to demonstrate something else it does. Of course, this is also contingent on our website loading relatively fast. Um, 15 results now, I was looking for something with um, that had a lot more results. Here we go. This this should pull back quite a few. So that and now let's now we're just still going to data sheets for that. All right. I'm run my query. The second here is going to update. That's what I thought it was. Come on. So, 88, um, still not enough for, for, so the reason why is, um, the business objects query that we handled, it only, you can only put 99 items in the list at one time, so when you have over 99, um, it's, it's annoying, so there's, okay, so see, there's 282, if you top 100, I'm going to get to that, um, anyway, alright, I won't, I won't worry about it for now, uh, but you could, you could even, you know, say we wanted to have uh, only those in automotive, right? So we can filter this list. That very quickly gives me um, so there was only one, but still up. up um, it'll grab what's on the page. Thanks.